Yeah. What's up, man? This big unk, man. Uh, uh, Uncle Spliff, man. Spliff DTV, man. Hey, check this out, Jack. Hey, man. I'm I'm outside in my motherfucking room, man. Hey, hey. See, you see who uh, these boys pulled up, man. You already know that is, man. Come on, man. Hey, hey. Tell them who you is, hey, nigga. Hey, man. Say, man. This band under the red hey, man, gasoline say, TV, the reliable <laughs> source. You feel me? Yes, yeah, sir. Gas, not trash around this uh, joint, man. Up. Tell who yeah. you is, me. Young Mimisi out of Inglewood, California, man. Just representing, you feel me? Out here with Spliff, man. Showing love, you feel me? Messing with my boy Bandana. You know I'm the young boy, John Gear, Representing the Hub City the right way, you feel me? Yeah, you better represent it, man, because Bandana be talking too much shit about you, homie. Oh, yeah, you gonna yeah. see why. You okay, see why. okay, September okay. September 13th. Yeah, yeah. okay, Check okay, hey. okay. I checked hey. out I checked hey. out your single, yeah. uh, 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 P. Miller. Yeah. Hey, yeah. he you got the stamp. Why. He got my stamp, man. He got the Compton stamp. You feel me? Yeah. And the coldest part is it comes from, I don't even want you to put too much on it, but it, it runs in his family. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to save that for him to let y'all know on this album. He's going to tell you who he got it from. Free my uncle now, let her out that slam, on man. On one. Yeah. That's where it comes from. That part right there. The reliable source. We out here, though, man. So, Bandana, man. I remember probably what? It was about a year, or maybe a year, a year, a year and a half ago. Okay. And you put out a video. This this back this back when the food vendors was being attacked or whatnot, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. And you put out a video that went viral on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? What motivated you to 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 send out that message, homie? Okay, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. I come from the real. I don't want to say the real. I come from a serious generation, right? And it was rules and regulations in the generation I come from, right? So, in the streets, I done been around nothing but. Hustlers, gang members, and killers, right? They never targeted women, children, or elders. That was just against the rules. And anybody that broke those rules, man, it, it was consequences and repercussions yeah. on me. It's like, yeah. you feel me? Like, I come from an era where you couldn't kill nobody in your neighborhood. If they found out you killed one of your own people, man, the whole hood would disown yeah. you. They yeah. won't be yeah. around you. You couldn't even come around your boys no more. Niggas right. wouldn't, wouldn't be around you, right? And I'm, I'm going to say this short and brief. I was at a gas station, man. My little daughter was four years old, right? And uh, jumped out to get some gas. I was off of Avalon and Rosecrans, right? And this was years back. This was probably about 25 years ago, right? My little daughter was in the back seat. So I jump out to go pay for the gas. You know, that's a cat ran up on me. Hey, man, where you from? Woo, 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 right? He whip out. My little daughter raised his, her head up because she heard his voice and it was aggression. And her little eyes was looking in the window. He said, man, my bad, homie. I didn't know you had your kid with you. My bad, homie. He put his strap up and got on. Hold up, bro. This is my word to bond. So when so I the, see the him, the he was going to bang on gonna you. He knock me down right there, right? My little daughter, Satia, opened her eyes. She came, uh, she raised up in the window and he seen her face. He immediately put his thing. He apologized. Key word. He apologized, apologized and got the fuck on, right? Mm. Later down the line, I caught up with him. He was hanging on the corners with some guys I knew. You feel me? In Luda's Park. And so when I seen him, I'm like, man, that's dude. So anyway, I ran the situation down and we was able to talk and it was cool, right? Mm -hmm. But you see how that worked? Yeah. So when I seen that, I go back to the incident with, with me. You feel what I'm saying? Personally, it, it just didn't happen like that. Now you always gonna have a few Rotten apples out here gonna do some bullshit. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And even with that, a lot of the SAs rob the vendors and beat them and do the same thing, right? So a lot of these dudes get it from seeing that. You feel me? And they make it a trend like it's fun to do. They doing that to their own people. That don't mean you do that. It's wrong, period, and it shouldn't be done. Yeah. Deal with a nigga with some tattoos on his face. Deal with a brother was with them braids. Deal with somebody that's really out there on that type of time. Shit, Stop yeah. violating innocent people and children and Civilians, women. Civilians, bro. Come on, homie. Civilians, yeah. Come on. You know some bandana, you know, when when we was growing up, the Jack Boys and the Robbers, guess what they robbed? They robbed the drug dealers. Come on. They they robbed people that was in the game. That boy right there. They didn't rob the security guard coming home from the store that's working with the 60 years old, ready to retire. They didn't rob him. It's just it's certain things you do and you don't. So when I seen that, it immediately made me upset like I was like and I didn't do that video I didn't know that that video was gonna go viral that wasn't my intention nah, to wasn't. say no shit to to make people I don't give a damn if people like me or like what I say right. I'm gonna just say what's on my heart and say what's real exactly and, and I was talking to my people I was having a, a moment of teaching and that's and it came across the right way because a lot of my people received that and they was like 
man, he right. You feel what I'm saying? And to the ones that didn't understand it, the ones, some of them was like, oh man, but he's choosing sides. Well, they used to do this to us and they do this to us. I'm not here to say who threw this orange and who threw that apple. If you hit a woman or old folks, it's wrong. Period, point blank, homie. Simple mathematics. So that's just what it was. So I got a lot of love from that, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, when you tell the truth and you come real, a lot of people don't like that. You feel me? Some people like the chaos to, to carry on because they live the chaotic lifestyle. All they know is the problems. People, when I grew up, we had I had no father. Mother owned drugs in the streets. Everybody I hung with, they had that same thing. So that's why we built a brotherhood. People look at gang members like monsters like this. They were kids without family. The love come from the house. Yeah. So when you don't get the love from the house, you get it in the streets. Yeah. So if you want these kids to not be gang members, give them the motherfucking love in the house. Yeah. That's for these women. They, 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 they kick the man out. The county give them what? Section 8 for a woman, as long as the man ain't there in the house. Okay, when you kick the man up out of the house, how is he going to teach that little boy how to be a man? They look at a kid as a dollar figure. That's money in my pocket. Okay, I ain't going to be with him no more. I'm going to file these papers and do this. When you destroy that man and knock him off his plateau, you're knocking that same kid off their plateau. You feel me? If he got to work two jobs just to survive, how is he going to be able to spend much time with that kid to show him not to fight women, not to steal, not to break the law? How can he do that? He's not around. He's he's, he's trying to feed himself because you got him at this this high ass bill hanging over his head. They tax you for uh, your 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 gross, not your net. You feel what I'm saying? When when they hit you, when they hit you, they hit you double. So you're paying more than what you're supposed to pay. Right? But the kid is growing up with feeling not love, not knowing what to do. He got all these emotions like a woman because guess what? He's around his mama. And they get this money and they don't even let the father be around the kid. The county don't make sure the, the father's involved. Yeah. They should be a social worker every month talking to them kids. A social worker seeing what's been done with the money. Uh, oh, oh, she got her car in her mama's name. That's what they do. They put their cars in their mama's name to hide from the, uh, a Section 8. You feel what I'm saying? They, don't, they got Section 8 for women. They got shelter for women, they got food stamp, everything for a woman, but when a man, he only get GR, $170. If you can't make that crack for a month, go break the law and do what you gotta do to survive. But this is all the government giving you, but they give a woman a house, long as the man can't be there, you feel me? They give the women the jobs, they got all the opportunities. All we got is, is love, from brotherly love from each other. So that's why men be so caught up in gangs and so caught up with rolling with their homies. They'll roll with their homies before they woman because their homies been there for them more than they woman. Their woman kick them out on the street because they feeling high and mighty on that section eight. Their homies gonna open that door and you gonna sleep on the floor in that dope house. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a lot of shit men going through out here, man. At Mother's Day, they give all them flowers to the women and I love all of that. But it's a lot of good fathers out here that wanna make a difference, homie. We're not allowed the opportunity. The court system don't work for us. Yeah. The, 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 the system don't work for us, period. We get hit the hardest, homie. Yeah. Blacks and Hispanics. Yeah. Every other nation could come here, Iranians, Russians, and everybody, they ain't in the court system like us. No. They ain't get done like us. They get businesses here. They, got the corner stones they get businesses corner. here. We get prison time here. So so we feel different about the flag than the, the average person. You feel me? You go to Newport Beach and they gonna hang their flag out high and they be happy and smiling. In the ghetto, we ain't hanging no flags up. Because the only thing they doing is beating us, shooting us, and, and taking us to jail. Not rehabilitating us. When we get to jail, you know what they do? First, when you see your own people, they beating you up. Where you from? We got phase for you. So if you whooping on a dude as soon as he get into jail, he ain't never been there. He don't know nothing about it. And you're beating on him and putting your hands on him. Okay, and the riot kick off. How can he protect you when you just broke his arm as soon as he got in there for no reason at all? A lot of this shit got to change, homie. The rules, I don't mean to say... The rules need to change, but I'm going to say they need to be altered. They need to be fixed. Time has changed. You feel me? We, you feel me? Time has changed. We used to have uh, old TVs. Now we have smart TVs. We used to have certain cars that run off gas. Now we got cars that's electric. You feel me? These street rules need to change and be altered. Because we, we hurting ourselves and we ain't doing nothing but taking ourselves off the map. And we ain't owning nothing. We dying for streets, we don't own nothing in the hood, we don't own no houses no more, we don't have no businesses. All we get is jail time and they make money off of us as soon as we get in the sale, 2500 a day. So of course that system gonna give us all that time. Cause they make it, it's a money making they thing. That money. Yeah. The United States ain't been, they robbed the Indians. 
You feel me? Look how they did us with all that slavery. And look how we treat it today. Where's the reparations? That went out the window. But you would give us this pandemic money, but no reparations. Come on, man. Wake up, man. Use your brain around this motherfucker, man. Come on, talk to